Yo, what's up everybody? How's everybody doing today? Uh, today I thought I'd uh, drop a video that's a little different from my norm. Uh, I don't normally drop these types of videos. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I labeled it. I was attacked by SJWs, right? Clickbait like a motherfucker, right? All right. So now that I got your attention on that, um, I just didn't know what else to, to title it, so I just titled it that. So anyways, um, I'm in uh, quite a lot of Facebook groups for statues, comic books, movies, a lot of different things. And I was doing a movie review. And as I critiqued the movie, I also critiqued an actress. I said in her last movie, she seemed to have more muscle tone. Seems like, seems like she didn't, uh, seems like she didn't work out as hard, right? And to me, the point, I uh, did that affect the movie? Not really. So I could see some people's arguments when they said that, like, how does that affect the movie? It didn't ruin it or affect it in one way or another, right? So I could get be behind that type of criticism. It's constructive. They made a point. Then there's some people that they're always the ones that label themselves. Like, oh, I'm doing it for others, for sexism and for this and that, right? But really, they just want to start a fight and they just, wanna, they just like to go all day talking shit about people. And then when they get caught out on it, they say they're doing it for someone else. Or an imaginary character that don't exist or for an actor or actress they've never met and probably never will right so now why did i point out her physique and her muscle tone right because it's a superhero movie these actors have to come in shape for those movies be they a man be it a woman doesn't matter they're equal in that department they they have the same standards right for either character and i pointed that out because in movies Sometimes when an actor comes in out of shape or an actress, it can be telling if uh, it can affect the movie in a way that there's sometimes they didn't work out because they're just not that into the role or into making into the filming of the movie, right? So then it shows that they're not going to be as into the acting. In this particular situation, I didn't think that was the case, but that does happen sometimes. I'll give Punisher, for example, Punisher Warzone, the movie part two. The guy came in in terrible shape, couldn't do the fight scenes. He wasn't that into the role. So he not only did he not train, but he didn't practice for the lines or anything, right? He just he didn't care. So that's a lot of time not to tell. So, anyways, this guy that seen there's one guy that seemed to be so offended that you point out her muscle tone, how dare you critique if she's in shape or not, uh, this actress, right? If he cares so much, and this is what he told me. Let me read it to you. One of the comments, this is a few people, most of it was, you know, constructive, uh, they, they didn't always disagree with me, which is fine, they don't have to, we all have our opinions. Um, but this person, watch what they say here. They say, I would probably inter interject if it was someone's whose opinion I valued. Okay, and then he interjects, right, by commenting, so I guess he values my opinion a lot, right? So, and it's obvious right there, right? So he then says... This kind of nonsense is just par for the course for you. Seriously, you're just another toxic virgin judging women. Okay, so this guy obviously likes to name call. I'm not a virgin if anyone who cares, right? But he's making fun of virgins. He's implying that they're lame and they're to be made fun of. Like if you can't get a girl. And judging by this guy's look and, and so forth, I can, I can get a pretty good idea just by the conversation I had with him of the type of person he is he probably met one girl late in life probably once he was a little older um and then just married her and never was exposed to other women right so because these types of people that do this a lot of time in their arguments you find them describing themselves uh so they're like projecting their own feelings about themselves or what they got made fun of and then they try to like th throw use those same jokes or whatever to throw them onto others that's something i noticed it's a it's a theme a lot a lot of these persons that pretend to care about this stuff don't. They just want to be an asshole with people and then they hide behind that banner of, oh, I'm doing it to defend sexism or to fight sexism or to fight whatever cause, right? So it's kind of like a get out of jail free card to be a dick, right? So I pointed out, um, you know, way to go for whoever reads these comments. Uh, there's probably a lot of younger people in the group. They probably really are virgins. And you're making fun of them, making them feel insecure, right? And he's like, basically what he said, I, I'm paraphrasing here, he said, who gives a fuck, right? So, you know, because he's a badass. And then, um, 
He said, you just keep on judging women and their mo- and their faults. It's a movie, judge the movie, don't go around judging women in real life. Judge them in the movie because just like you judge an athlete, they sign up for that job, you critique if they did a good job or not, right? Just like a book, a writer, you critique if he did a good job or not. For me, for the for the major part, most of the groups I'm in are pretty chill. Not everybody always agrees, but we keep it on topic and so forth. Uh, and I started getting a lot of messages about this particular group. People were telling me they're like, it's like all the assholes are all accepted. They all got kicked out of other groups, and they all are accepted in one group. Because as long as they keep, uh, they they're right there. They're allowed to be assholes as long as they keep make hiding behind that excuse that they're doing it for like SJW reasons. As they get out of jail free card, they can be allowed to be jerks with everybody there, right? And they're not allowed for the most part in other groups. And I found that kind of funny. And um, is there any truth to it? I mean, uh, the only times I've seen that is probably on that group. But for the most part, 95% of that group is, is, is a good group. And you can let the 5 percenters ruin the experience you have there, right? That's the way I look at it. Which then led to another uh, question I asked was uh, if you're so if people are so sensitive about the the body uh, describing the body types and so forth body shapes and figures I said I can see that right I'm not gonna argue it I can see that it's, it's a valid argument they didn't try to defend my uh, initial description but my description was strictly for the movie and I gotta prepare for it. it wasn't about how people look in their real life when they're not asked to look any different for their job right that's two different. Two different arguments but i said you know what so if this is so important why um how come you laugh at thor and the red guardian in the in the when in the movies they're making fun of how they're out of shape and fat right if, if that's so important then some people say well those characters are not real they're imaginary yes they're not real but you're still making fun of those body types which are real right and you just made a big fuss about how that's being insensitive and we shouldn't do it so uh, why the two different standards? And then we're all over the place on these topics. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all this. Uh, I found it a bit interesting in a way. I was, I was somewhat entertained by it. And at the end of the day, um, I walked away uh, learning a little bit about, you know, when some stuff I didn't really stop to think about before where they weren't that big a deal to me. Um, and, you know, you got to realize we're not all built the same because I've been criticized. I, I gained weight for a while. I got criticized for it. Some people made some comments and um, I didn't make a big fuss about it. I was like, you know what? I have been gaining weight. So I started working out again and getting back, trying to get back in shape. Right. I wasn't like depressed because of the comments or anything like that. But again, we're all different. So I'm not going to compare myself to somebody else. We have different upbringings. Uh, some of us have thicker skin than others. Some of us have been through more. Uh, one thing I learned in life is the less you've been through in life, the easier you are offended. The more sheltered you are, the more uh, these little things are a big deal to you, right? Because you've never been through through the mud yet. It is what it is. Uh, let me know in the comment sections what you think about this. Um, and let me know your opinions on this stuff. If you choose to share, just keep it, uh, you know, keep it productive. No name calling and stuff like that. If you guys disagree with someone else in the comment section. Other than that, uh, hopefully you guys hit that subscribe button. Check out for the rest of my content. Uh, that way I'll keep you updated on your on your feed and so forth and I'll check you out next time.